What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna react to your assumptions about me. A little over a week ago, I posted asking all of you to share any assumption that you have about me so that I can react to them in celebration of the channel reaching 200,000 subscribers. By the way, thank you so much for that. I can't believe that just a little over a year ago, I had begun taking this YouTube channel seriously, and now we are at 200,000 subscribers. That is incredible, and I genuinely wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart. But so it seems like a lot of you have some very interesting assumptions about me, and now I'm gonna react to them. I assume you baited your wife the same way you bait us with constant Google and Facebook plugs. So first of all, she's my girlfriend, not my wife. But second of all, I'm not exactly sure what you mean by baited, but the answer is basically yes. I actually brought her to the Google office on our second date ever. And by the way, pro tip, I would highly recommend to any of you Google software engineers or Google any employee to bring a date to the Google offices because it is a fantastic date location. Algo expert? More like dating expert. I assume your girlfriend would like you to be more fashionable in your videos, but you insist a black t-shirt is all that it takes. So that's funny. She doesn't really care about my videos, but in real life, she would like me to be more fashionable, although in my opinion, I am very fashionable, but she has forced me in the past to wear different kinds of outfits. I'll probably put a picture up here. Uh, so I do wear colors on very seldom occasions. I assume three things about you. Number one, you speak Spanish more than you will admit. Hablo un poquito de español, pero las palabras no vienen a mi boca. Comprendes? Number two, you do not have any button shirts, only t-shirts. That's kind of true, except that my girlfriend forced me to buy a few button shirts, but I rarely wear them. Black v-neck all the way. Number three, you will create another company similar to Algo Expert, but in the field of quantum computing or AI. I don't know about quantum computing or AI, but I'm almost certainly gonna create another company after Algo Expert. I've always kind of assumed that you're the kind of guy who doesn't really study for a test, but still aces it. So that makes me laugh because that is like very accurate, especially for high school Clement. Back when I was in high school, especially the last couple of years when I was just sick of school, I was that type of person, like I very, you know, rarely studied or start, studied very little and I still did very well in tests. Then in college, it was a little bit of a rude awakening for some classes where if you don't study, you, know, you can't just like derive the math formula in the test. Sometimes you can, and I found myself doing that where you're like, you know, doing like PEDs or ODEs in a math class and you have to rederive like, I don't know, the Laplace transform or some shit like that. And I, I don't even remember anything that I learned in my math classes, but you got the idea. But yes, that's sort of me. But again, there were limits to that in college and I, ended up getting C's sometimes. You will never ever go back to work for Fang again. Never say never, but admittedly, it's looking unlikely. However, working with Fang in some sort of partnership capacity, that, Maybe. I assume that your net worth is one million. If not, then reveal it, please. So it's funny because the day that you posted this comment is the day that my net worth actually surpassed one million, which is kind of crazy. And I'm actually thinking of making a video about this. So you might hear about that uh, very soon. You're the kind of guy who drinks Starbucks before work. Starbucks is really expensive. I like Starbucks coffee or Starbucks lattes, but it's really expensive. I did abuse the shit out of the free cappuccinos and lattes at Google. I assume Assume you wear the same black underwear every day as well. So that's actually true, but you know, it's not the same actual black underwear. It's like the same type of underwear. I actually have 30 of them, I swear, but I'll show you right now. It's like the best underwear in the world. Black trunks from Me Undies. This is the best underwear in the world. I wish this company would sponsor me. I would promote the shit out of their product. Best underwear in the world. I assume that I'll get into Facebook with one month of studying algorithms. I'll be getting Algo Expert. I mean, if you're getting Algo Expert and you're preparing with Algo Expert, then this is a guaranteed assumption. I can't believe I forgot to film this earlier, but needless to say, if you're preparing for coding interviews or systems design interviews, check out my company, Algo Expert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, C-L-E-M, for a discount on the platform. I assume that if given a choice today, you take a CS degree instead of your math degree. A hundred percent, because objectively speaking, my math degree gave me very, very few tangible skills. The only good thing that my math degree really gave me is the fact that 
people, for whatever reason, when they meet me, just assume that I am extremely smart or extremely capable just because I have a math degree. That's the number one perk, basically the only perk, okay, maybe not the only perk, but it's the best perk of having a math degree. I assume you've never smoked marijuana. That's funny that you assume that, Brandon. I'm wondering what it is about me, especially in YouTube videos, that gives off this vibe. But that is almost entirely true, because during my senior year of college, I got peer pressured by some friends to smoke one puff out of those, like, tubes. I don't even know what the fuck they're called, like hookahs or whatever, and I hated it. I was also very upset because, like, I hate being peer pressured into things. I'm usually very good at not getting peer pressured. Anyway, I took one, like, half puff, hated it, coughed my lungs out, never did it again, and never intend to do it again. So I would say that your assumption is correct. I assume your favorite programming languages are not Scala, Haskell, Ruby, C Sharp, Java, Swift, BrainFuck, Fortran, Algol, and Pascal, but JS, TS, and Python. Yes, that is correct. I also assume you give a love reaction to this comment. I assume you have no clue when to stop talking. That's true, I do talk a lot. I assume you're the type of guy to reject pull requests. That's a funny assumption, uh, mythical music. But no, I'm actually not that type of guy, I'm the opposite. Even if I have a lot of comments on a pull request, I will usually approve it and just trust that the person who wrote the pull request will address the necessary comments, the ones that need to be addressed, and that they'll then you know, merge everything correctly and things will go smoothly. The only cases where I reject a pull request are either if there's something that just, you know, was never discussed with the rest of the team and it's just out of nowhere, or if there is a really, really bad bug that would be really, really bad if it, it made its way to production, then I might reject the pull request just out of, you know, utmost precaution. And maybe if the engineer is brand new to the team, I might be a little bit more reserved in, you know, how fast I approve a pull request. But overall, no, I am not that type of guy. I assume since you're a math major, you can easily program anything you want and prove it mathematically. That is an incorrect assumption, but that proves what I said before about the math major. People think you're a genius when you have a math major. This is a perfect example of that. I assume that you are going to expose Facebook in your next video. Um, no, I'm not, but your username, Anonymous, is pretty damn good. I assume you're going to be an angel investor when you're 35 or 40. To be honest, I don't know if that's actually going to be the case. I'm definitely going to be still in entrepreneurship and, you know, running my own companies, but I don't know about being an angel investor. Maybe. I assume you have a lot more business ideas after Algo Expert. Yes. I assume you are a clean freak and everything has to be spotless. Yes. How is it that so many of you correctly assume all of these things from my videos? Like, I don't share that much in my videos that would convey these things. I assume that you will hit 200k within a week. I think that that was actually incorrect. I think I hit it within like a week and a half or two weeks, but close enough. I've always assumed that you have a daily routine slash regiment, and also maybe that you might be a germaphobe. So I don't know about the daily routine slash regiment. I actually kind of freestyle and YOLO a lot of my days, but I am a germaphobe, and once again, I do not understand how this is conveyed through my videos. I assume your favorite movie is The Social Network. It is one of my favorite movies. I assume that you have a cat and that she promotes your business too. I do not have a cat, but my brother has a cat. I assume you have Romanian roots. Yes, my dad's Romanian. I assume that you were an introvert during your childhood days. So that's interesting. Most people who meet me think that I am an extreme extrovert because I love speaking up in meetings and classes, raising my hand. I love public speaking. I love giving presentations. I love all of that stuff. And yet, at my core, I am a complete introvert. I hate hanging out with people in, like, you know, social events. I absolutely hate parties and all that stuff. I could stay at home all day long alone and be totally happy. So I'm this weird like mixture of an introvert who has some extrovert tendencies. What's up everybody? How's it going? Is the best greeting ever. That is not an assumption, but it is a correct assertion. Assumption. You can speak more than five languages. Nope. I can only speak English, French, and Spanish, and I know a few curse words in Romanian, but that doesn't really count. I think although you value your personal life, Work takes the majority of your time, and the major portion of your happiness is derived from your work and not relationships or hobbies. Also, you don't believe in work-life balance. Am I right? You're basically completely right. I will say that 
not believing in work-life balance sounds very harsh. I prefer the term that I think Jeff Bezos coined, which is work-life harmony. In other words, like work and life kind of mesh together, but it's not about having them be strictly equal or balanced, but yes to everything you said. I always assumed you are a typical Silicon Valley bro. What is a typical Silicon Valley bro? I don't know if I'm a typical Silicon Valley bro. I assume you can reverse a linked list. I sure hope I can. I assume you have many black t-shirts of the same color. How could I have many black t-shirts of different colors? I assume that you are a straight talker. Can someone answer me this question? How is it that Harris Papadopoulos knows more about me than basically my closest friends and family members? Is that a good enough reaction to your assumptions, Harris? I assume you like living a minimalistic lifestyle. Yes. I assume you are talkative at work and negotiate with anything that you don't like. Yes. I assume you used the scooter to get to everywhere while at Google. Jesus Christ, that would be a correct assumption. I assume you hate me. Coding Jesus, I don't. You seem like a horrible person, but I bet you're actually really nice in real life. Thank you, Tim Statler. Wait, what makes me seem like a horrible person? Jesus Christ. I assume you love Algo Expert more than your girlfriend, Lamau. So I think that it's about time to cut this video short. We're a little bit over time now. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you enjoy short form written content, check me out on Twitter and LinkedIn, follow me there. If you enjoy pictures, follow me on Instagram, and otherwise I will see you in the next video.